بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مربی زدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین ٹرانسومیشنز آف فانکشنز دی ٹاپک آف دس لیکچر اس کمبائن ٹرانسومیشنز این امپورٹنٹ ایڈوائز فور می اینڈ فور ایوری ون بی کائنڈ اینڈ بی ہمبل In this section, you will learn how to apply simple combinations of transformations. The transformations of the graph y is equal to f of x that you have studied so far can each be categorized as either vertical or horizontal transformations. These are the vertical transformations and these are the horizontal transformations. This is the equation of the vertical translation. This is the uh, vertical translation vector. This vector is known as the vertical translation because this component is zero. So when you will apply this vector onto this equation, you will get this thing. And this is the equation of the horizontal transformation translation. When you will apply this vector onto this, you know, you'll get this X plus A. Be careful regarding this sign. This sign is negative, so this will be positive. This is the reflections in the x-axis. Because when we reflect anything about the x-axis, we change the sign of y-coordinate. That is why we have negative sign here. And this is the reflection in the y-axis. Because we change the sign of x-coordinate. This is the vertical stretch with factor A. And this is the horizontal stretch with factor 1 upon A. Make sure you remember this thing. If the factor is 1 upon A, then you have to write A here. They both are reciprocal. We have discussed this in detail in the lecture of stretches. Well, when combining transformations, care must be taken with the order in which the transformations are applied. When two vertical transformations or two horizontal transformations are combined, the order in which they are applied may affect the outcome. When one horizontal and one vertical transformation are combined, the order in which they are applied does not affect the outcome. You can apply first horizontal and then vertical or vertical first and horizontal at the second, no problem. Here order is not important. But here order is very important and here order is very important. The order is very important in these two transformations. Here we use the normal order which we use in arithmetic which is bottomless. And here we use the opposite order of this normal order. We first multiply and then add. Here we first add and then multiply. This is the opposite order of this order. Combining two vertical transformations. We will now consider how the graph of y is equal to f of x is transformed to the graph y is equal to a times f of x plus k. This a means vertical stretch and this k means vertical translation. So according to the bottomless, according to the normal order which we use in arithmetic, we first need to apply stretch. We first need to multiply f of x by a. And then we need to add k into f of x, this equation. This is the flow chart. First apply stretch, vertical stretch uh, in, with factor a onto f of x. So when we will apply this stretch onto f of x, this f of x will become a times f of x. And this is the translation vector. When we will apply this factor onto this equation, we'll get this equation. So first we will multiply and then we will add. This is the or normal order which we use in arithmetic, which is known as Bodmer's. First go, I mean first do the multiplication and then the addition. Multiplication, addition. Vertical transformations follow the normal order of operation as used in arithmetic, which is known as the Bodmer's. 
combining two horizontal transformations. Now consider how the graph y is equal to f of x is transformed to the graph. Here we will use the opposite order of this order. We will first do the addition and then multiplication. That means we will first go for translation and then stretch. And this is the flow chart. So when we will apply f of this factor onto f of x, this f of x will become f of x plus c. This minus c will become plus c. This is the horizontal translation. And when we will apply this 1 upon b onto this f of x, this f of x will become f of bx plus c. We have to write the reciprocal of 1 upon b here. So this is the addition and this is the multiplication. And this is the opposite order of this order. Horizontal transformations follow the opposite order to the normal order of operations as used in arithmetic. Now, this is an example of the two vertical translations. Two vertical transformations. The diagram shows the graph of y is equal to f of x. Sketch the graph of y is equal to 2 f of x minus 3. Now, this 2 means vertical stretch and this minus 3 means vertical translation. y is equal to 2 f of x minus 3 is a combination of two vertical transformations. Number 1, stretch and number 2, translation. We will use normal order. According to normal order, first we need to sketch this 2 f of x. First we need to apply the stretch on this f of x. So first sketch y is equal to 2 f of x. And how will you sketch y is equal to 2 f of x? This is very simple. This is the object point, 2 comma 3, it's here. You just need to multiply 2 with the vertical component of this point. The vertical coordinate is 3. By multiplying 2 with this 3, we will get this 6. Because in vertical stretches, horizontal coordinates will remain unchanged. So, you just need to plot this point here. Because this is 2, 6. And in the same way, you can get all the points. This point is... 1 comma minus 1 when you will multiply minus 1 with 2 you will get minus 2 so the point will become 1 minus 2 and this point is here in the same way you can uh, get all the uh, points of the image sketch the graph 2 f f of x minus 3 now you just need to translate this graph by 3 units down because the vector is 0 minus 3 so by shifting this point 3 units down, we'll get 4 minus 3. You just need to bring all the points 3 units down. This point will come here. This point will come here. See, 4 comma 6, horizontal points, the horizontal coordinates will remain unchanged. And the change will occur only in vertical coordinate because of this vertical translation. So this point... Uh, 4 comma 6 will become 4 comma 3 it's here the diagram shows the graph of y is equal to x square and its image this is the image y is equal to g of x after a combination of transformations <coughs> I'm sorry find two different ways of describing the combination of transformations write down the equation of the graph now there are two ways to describe this, this, uh, this transformation. This is horizontal transformation. I mean two horizontal transformations. Number one. Translation of 4, 0. This is 4, 0 because it's 4 units right. And then this is stretch factor with half. I mean this is half. This is one way. And this is the other way. The second way. This is simple. First you need to stretch this object with factor half. Horizontal stretch. Half means this point. This was uh, 2 comma four when you will multiply this two with half this will become one comma four so this point is here 
in the same way you can get all the points so first this graph will stretch horizontally with factor half and then you need to translate this graph this new graph the broken curve two units to the right so this is horizontal stretch factor half and followed by translation to and zero and if you uh, need the equation of the resulting graph you first need to apply translation plus and then multiplication this is the opposite order so first you need to apply 2 comma 0 over here so this will become x minus 2 this x will become x minus 2 now you need to multiply this by 2 this is the stretch factor so this equation will become y is equal to 2x minus 4 whole square this is the equation of the resulting graph well this is all uh, inshallah i will discuss the solution of important questions from the past papers in my next lecture i hope this lecture will help you to understand the concepts of combined transformations allah Hafiz.